The following video clip was recorded during a panel discussion convened by United Way of the National Capital Area. The panel featured several prominent education thought leaders from the Metro D.C. region who weighed in on various aspects of cradle-to-career education issues. We hope you'll listen and be inspired to take action as an education advocate. We all understand it's not just the test scores that matter. I think are important indicators. You have to demonstrate that the children you're educating have the basics to be able to handle uh, the rigor of the, uh, of the content, to be able to um, get into competitive colleges. So no doubt you have to make sure that you are preparing your students for, for, for tests. Uh, but what's exciting in the Parkside Kenilworth community sort of a dream come true. Uh, the fact that we're gonna be able to transform that community so we can ensure that every child that is born in that community has access to quality education from the day they're born until they go on to college and graduate and come back and make their community better. So we also understood that communities like the Kenilworth Parkside community, which are distressed community and uh, distressed community and experience all the social ills you can imagine that it was our responsibility to create the conditions outside of the schools that will allow every child to know that they have the resources to grow up healthy and ready to learn when they enter school uh, so it was with the two principals for the two elementary schools the traditional schools that we partnered and then talking to them they expressed to us the difficulties they had when their uh, students were enrolling in pre-K and how they, many of them didn't have the skills to be successful. That's when we, um, like all of us by now know the Holland Children's Zone, and made the decision that the community, the family, the schools had to create a cradle to college to career uh, approach. Because when you do things in isolation, the reason it was becoming a challenge for Chavez to do this work and by itself, prepare students to go to college and not only attend, but be successful, is because unless you go backwards and connect the pathway, so having a high quality child care um, experience can only go so far if your next phase in your education is not strong. So we felt it was really important to do that. So what we did is we realized that in order for us to make that happen, we had to get the community support, the ANCs, the community leaders, the churches, very important to get the traditional schools to be supportive of what we were trying to do. We knew what we needed to do is to partner with high performing organizations that could provide something in the continuum of cradle to college to career. It was gonna be absolutely necessary that only programs that are evidence-based that give results could be a part of the Promise neighborhood. That we were gonna have a system to make sure that that would happen. It also meant that we had to have very clear goals and that whatever we did was based on us tracking uh, those goals and that we were gonna evaluate, we were gonna evaluate the, the work. The Department of Education put the application out. It was great because a lot of the work was already in, 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 in mode. So we are very fortunate to have the the community support that wants this. We're very fortunate to have great partners uh, involved, like Ed Educare, um, the America's Promise, the Child, the Children's Hospital. They already have a van coming every week to provide health services for the students because we understand students need to be healthy. We partner with DC List. I mean, the list goes on and on. United Way, uh, with PNC. So we're very excited. It's, it's this coming year's planning year where we have to really put a plan on how we'll make this possible, the cradle to career to college. One of the solutions we need to look at is the partnership between higher ed and K through 12 and early childhood to make sure that we're preparing not only K through 12 uh, professors or teachers, but also the, the trainers for preschool. We need to have a full partnership, be it public schools, private universities, the whole nine yards need to work together Keep in mind that the number one, the step one, is what do we have to do to make sure our kids succeed? That needs to be the focus. Every discussion that goes on here needs to start with the students, because that's why we're here.